Hey what's up everyone, CT and Technology News here, and today I'm back with a full review of Apple's new 6th generation iPod Touch. So to state the obvious, it's been a really long time since the last iPod Touch released. The 5th generation model debuted in 2012, and it was a pretty exciting redesign at the time. Over the last couple years though, the iPod Touch 5th generation has definitely started to show its age, and for a while now, it's really been overdue for a new upgrade. But anyways, that brings us to the 2015 model of the iPod Touch that Apple just recently launched. So as you can see, the iPod Touch 6th generation really looks almost identical to its predecessor. It features the exact same 4 inch screen, aluminum build, and thin and light design. With that said, there are a couple external changes. For one thing, the old iPod Touch loop designed to make the iPod a better point-and-shoot camera has disappeared, and that makes the iPod look a bit more elegant overall. Also, and this is really obvious, Apple's actually added some new color options for the iPod Touch. It now comes in blue, silver, and the gold edition which I have here. But the real upgrade in the new iPod Touch is under the hood. The iPod Touch 6th generation is many, many times faster than the old model, and it's also got a number of other improvements as well. For one thing, the old Apple A5 processor inside the 5th generation has been replaced by the way faster Apple A8 CPU paired with the M8 Motion coprocessor, which makes it about 6 times faster than the 5th generation. There's also an 128GB storage option this time round, which costs $400 but actually might make sense for people who want to store a lot of movies and music. When it comes to networking, the iPod Touch 6th generation features Bluetooth 4.1 for the first time, and it also comes with the new standard 802.11ac Wi-Fi that has been on other Apple products for quite a while. Now before I keep talking about what's new, let me just mention a couple things that Apple's kept the same in the new iPod Touch. For one thing, as I already mentioned, the iPod Touch 6th generation still has a 4 inch screen, with a resolution of 326 ppi, which means that it does look fairly small in comparison to Apple's current iPhones. That's not necessarily a bad thing, it just means that the iPod Touch won't be able to compete size-wise with most new products on the market. One other thing that hasn't changed and is kind of a disappointment honestly, is the home button on the iPod Touch 6th generation. Unlike the iPhone and iPad, the new iPod Touch still hasn't gotten Touch ID, which makes it more inconvenient to use services like Apple Pay, which use your fingerprint for authentication. Then again, the fact that Apple hasn't added Touch ID to the iPod Touch might be a good thing, since it means that they're able to keep prices low. Now one thing that's gotten a big upgrade in the 2015 iPod Touch is the camera. This time round, the iPod Touch features an 8 megapixel iSight camera, good for taking 1080p HD videos. Apple's also added slow-mo recording this time round, which is kind of a cool effect even if it wasn't all that useful normally. In the real world, the camera performs fairly well, although it's probably not quite as good as either the iPhone 6 or most high-end Android phones available now. There is pretty good color accuracy, and most videos you take come out pretty well. I was definitely impressed by the quality of the nature shots I took on the iPod Touch, and you can check out my detailed camera test if you want by clicking on the link in the description. The iPod Touch basically features the same camera as the iPad Air 2, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Another really great upgrade in the 6th generation iPod Touch is the speaker. Compared with last year's model, the new iPod Touch is louder with a more expansive sound range that's also richer in quality as well. Now I warn you that this won't do it justice, but to give you a rough idea of how the iPod Touch speaker performs, just go ahead and take a listen to it in action. So overall, the new iPod Touch actually delivers a pretty exciting upgrade, even if it doesn't appear very exciting on the surface. It's way faster than the 5th generation model, which makes it better for gaming, browsing the web, and just navigating around the device. The camera's gotten a significant upgrade, and the speaker's a lot better for listening to music. While the iPod Touch is clearly not a device for everyone, I would definitely recommend at least considering it as an option for your next purchase, since it makes a good exercise companion, a nice complement for a cheap Android phone, or just an iPhone experience without the high price and the mandatory data plan. But give me your opinions about the new iPod Touch in the comments below, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.